As March rages on, we haven't had the best snow year, but that hasn't stopped us from going on the trips that we set out to take. After killer weekends in both Steamboat Springs and Big Sky, Montana, where we went down to Orlando for the final round of the Florida Winter Tour. I swear I must be cursed because this is the second time I'm leaving Utah this winter season, and it's the second time I feel like it's actually snowed. So to all you guys in Utah and elsewhere, uh, I guess I'm doing you guys a service because when I leave, it seems to snow. So enjoy the snow, but I'm heading out to Orlando, Florida. going to Orlando which just had to be like 90 degrees um, when Utah just got some of the best though it got all year long um, but the racing season is upon us so we are heading down to central Florida for the third round of the Florida winter tour we're gonna be back in the shifter cart before we get back into the BMW so super stoked just a little unfortunate again we are missing this now The good news is that we are flying direct from Salt Lake City down to Orlando, and we're flying one of the more comfortable airlines, in my opinion, um, which is Delta. I just think between the TVs and the seats, it's usually a pretty, pretty chill flight. But we are getting in a little on the later side. We've been a little delayed getting out, but it should be good once we pick up the rental car. And then we're staying just in Orlando for the races and everything else like that. Um, so super comfortable flight, took a little nap. Um, now we're back in the humid and very, very warm air of uh, Florida. So we're waiting to get picked up. Um, I'm gonna head over to the Airbnb, but it's pretty late. It's already 12.45 in the morning and we have an early day ahead of us tomorrow. So I think tomorrow is just practice and I will check in with you guys then. eventful morning getting here we were basically running late and we had to jump right into the carts but long story short my cart engine lost compression meaning it basically doesn't work second gear no he's got to do it when i tell you to go first go first okay don't do it until i tell you get to run that last session which is kind of unfortunate because I'm learning a brand new track so as much seat time as I can get is better just to figure out the nuances of a new track stuff like that and this is one of those tracks that's a permanent track so a lot of people have already been here before so this is a pro level 
shifter car race, so these guys are extremely, extremely fast. And then couple it with um, a track they already know, I'm definitely at a handicap here. So trying to get as much running as we can today um, to just get back in the cart and understand the track. We are now changing the engine out to hopefully um, solve the problem and be able to run. Luckily, we have a lot of sessions today, and I think we have five more sessions left today. So, so I think they're calling for some rain throughout the weekend, and it's already just super humid and hot. Typical Florida fashion, the sunny, humid weather has turned into some afternoon rain. So we got about, I think only one practice in the dry really, um, before it started raining. And so now we have a few to finish out the day in the wet, which is good because I think we'll get a lot more wet weather this weekend here, unfortunately. So wet weather driving is completely different. You're using different tires and a, a different cart setup and even a different driving line out on the track. So totally different. I've only raced the cart in the wet a few times should be really interesting i think it's gonna be super wet so i'm excited to try the wet but yeah like i said it's also totally different than the dry <laughs>
the official event begins. Yesterday was just a test day really through the track itself and so now today um, the Rock Cup, the third round of the Rock Cup Florida Winter Tour begins. So we have qualifying, we have our first heat race today. So the event's gonna start to pick up in terms of being a lot more official. This is my little Airbnb room. Look at my little bed. It's like a little mini, mini pull out, mini, mini bed. about 20 minutes for our first practice session um, and again just still learning the track the car everything like that trying to get stuff sorted out um, for the rest of the weekend My butt kicked out here. And this field is so fast, and these guys have been karting essentially their whole lives. I'm about like a second and a half off the best guys in the country, which on a 50 second lap isn't that bad. Honestly, I have been a little bit discouraged just in terms of my performance, and with racing, whenever I didn't do well, I just started to get really upset. But I'm trying to not do that because it's just karting. I'm here to have fun um, and just learn. We have our first heat race later at in about 40 minutes. So hopefully it kind of, the rain stays away and we can get a nice dry run in here. But trying to just stay positive and take what we can.
Florida winter tour at Orlando Card Center. There's actually like a tornado warning in effect for today. We have just basically a series of heat races today and unfortunately I won't be able to stay for the actual main event tomorrow. Similar to the last winter tour, I will just be leaving tonight simply because of work and stuff like that. But it should still be fun. As I mentioned last time, I think I'm becoming a Florida boy. I'm enjoying the warm weather. I'm enjoying, not the humidity, but I'm just enjoying being able to be outside so easily. Um, it just makes me excited. Should be another solid day here and uh, could be pretty crazy with the weather. Day was honestly super eventful because of the rain that came in. Basically, we were on the grid about to go out when it, the skies basically opened up. Um, and long story short, we were stuck underneath the garage sort of tents for one to two hours basically as the storm passed. So, it was thundering and lightning and just like monsooned inches of rain. And unfortunately, I didn't really have a camera with me. The only thing I had was the GoPros that were on the go-kart but because of that everything got delayed and pushed back so we weren't able to run the pre-final which is kind of what we were planning on doing running everything other than the final event because my flight was around six o'clock i had to leave early um, so the rain made for a very fun time but also sort of messed things up a little bit but i'm super stoked with how the rain performance went I got my first top 15 in a pro shifter field, which I was actually super stoked with in the rain. And I ran the final heat race before I left, but unfortunately I spun out. The track was like, was 90% dry, but there was one section that was still wet. And I just got into it, um, got on the gas a little bit too early and I spun around, unfortunately. So the final heat, I did not finish too well, but up until then, the weekend was actually going pretty well. So it's really cool to be a part of such a high caliber, um, high competition event like the Florida Winter Tour and just the Pro Shifter Series. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to showcase the racing stuff. Um, and it can just be quite challenging during the day to actually vlog and show what's going on. So um, 
This isn't my best work, but it's what I got up to this weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video, next episode. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.